Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all well wherever you are and whatever you've been up to. I'm Lauren and as you can see, I'm back in my shop again today and I'm gonna be sharing with you a selection of the new fabrics that we've had in over the past four weeks or so. So just showing you them up close and giving you some suggestions of things that you can do with them. Um, remember, if you keep up to date with the just arrived section on our website, that is the most up to date place to see all the new arrivals because it does sometimes happen that things come in and then they sell out really quickly and um, before they make it like into one of these videos so always always check there regularly if you want to like see things just as they arrive we're updating it all the time I'll put a link to that in the description and um, and then I also wanted to just say at the beginning unfortunately um, we've got a, an amazing selection of new fabrics coming from Mind the Maker and they didn't arrive in time to put it in the video but they may be here by the time I actually publish the video um, but there are, it's a really lovely selection of viscose fabrics and we've got some utensils as well so yeah check out the just arrived section to see them but I'll, I'll probably do a little Instagram stories on them as well so if you're on Instagram then you can find me there and I'll be showing you them up close on there too so I'll start off with the selection that I've got here today the first ones I want to show you are some new Liberty prints that we've had in on different base cloths so we have we've had Liberty prints on stretch cotton gabardine before so we've got some new designs of that which is really nice and um, I've brought one of them over but then I've got close-up videos to show you the other prints um, but this will, if I open this one out just now, it'll sort of give you an idea of the kind of structure of it. So it is a fairly structured fabric. And if I unroll it a bit, you'll sort of see that it kind of holds its shape. This is a gorgeous print. It's the Ruby Templar one, which we have had in a different colourway before, but this is a lovely blue colourway. So it's cotton, but it, because it's got a bit of elastine in it, it's got a lovely bit of stretch. So it's really good for smart trousers, like the closet case pattern sashes, or you can make like a little skirt with it, like a more fitted skirt, or a more fitted dress would be nice as well. Like the Tilly and the Buttons Etta has got quite a fitted bodice and then a sort of kind of wiggle skirt on it so that kind of fabric is good for that because it holds its structure but it does have give so it means that you can still move around nice and comfy in it so yeah we've got the ruby templar one and then we've got um three other new prints as well which are all really nice and um, i really love the fizz pop one we had that on a i think we had that on a viscose base cloth and it was popular so it's nice to see it on a stretch gabardine so that's the new that's some of the new liberty ones and then we've also had some liberty prints on a jersey base cloth as well so some of them are viscose and then we've got one cotton one and um, but they're all a really lovely weight this one here is the cotton one. I'm sure you'll recognise this print has become a classic Liberty print now really. It's the cue for the zoo print. So because it's co cotton, it does hold its structure a little bit more, but it is still pretty lightweight. It would It's more like a t-shirt weight. So good for more like fitted top, like long sleeve tops and t-shirts. Good for kids clothes as well. Could be like leggings, t-shirts, that kind of thing. Um, but it's really, really nice, lovely and soft and got a good amount of stretch. Um, in both directions as well so that's the cotton one but then the other new liberty jerseys that we've got are all on fisco spaces so this one here is the polka sky one and we've got we had this before in the other colorway so we've got more of that it's really really nice i've made sophia a dress out of that and um, it's really cute and then this is just a sort of kind of brighter purpley color way it's gorgeous and then it's got really nice sort of oranges and a kind of magenta color and a red um, and you can see that it's much more drapey like it sort of flops around and moves a lot more so again it's really lightweight so it's good for t-shirts and tops but i think it would make a really nice dress as well that's got you know that kind of moves around a bit more and sort of swishes i think it would be really nice for that be something with more like a kind of fuller skirt set like a gathered skirt section a kind of fuller skirt section so it kind of swishes around a little bit um but yeah so we've got two colorways in the polka sky and then we've also got two colorways of I think it's called whispering stars i'll show you a close-up video of that anyway um, and two different colorways and they're really beautiful i mean a classic navy you can't go wrong with that and then a gorgeous lovely sort of bluey greeny teal color they're just lovely 
So that is the Liberty prints on a jersey. And then the next ones that I've got to show you have a little bit of sort of a sparkle in them as well. So we've had a range of double gauzes come in which have this like little kind of printed metallic-y spot on them. It's a random spot, so it doesn't have any sort of order to it, which is quite good in terms of not worrying about, you know, matching the spot or anything or lining it up. So just random orientation. And the way that it's kind of printed on, it's like the spot's almost raised a little bit. Um, and it come, we've got it in six gorgeous different colors. So this is the, let's see what this one's actually called. Um, this is the red current one. It's like a lovely sort of deep maroony kind of color. And then we've also got a navy and rust color, sort of blush pink, a lighter blue, and then a kind of sagey sort of greeny color too. Um, so that's how it's kind of moving around when I sort of hang it up. Um, but remember, if you've not worked with double gauze before, it's like two really, really thin layers of quite a loosely woven cotton and then they're invisibly stitched together so it gives the fabric almost a bit of bounce. This one also has like a slight sort of wrinkled texture to it a little bit which is just part of the aesthetic I guess of the fabric so you wouldn't want to necessarily press that out to make it flat. I think that kind of sort of wrinkled texture is just part of the look of the fabric. Um, this would be really good for, for nice blouses and tops. You could go for something as simple as like the Tilly and the Button Stevie top or you could or you could just make like a classic kind of shirt with a, you know with a button band and a, and a collar and everything like the Green Line Archer or the Melolo, the Deer and Doe Melolo. So any, anything that's more like a traditional sort of shirt. Um, I think if you were making it with a dress probably would want to line the skirt section of it anyway because it maybe is like a little bit sort of transparent but it would depend what you were wearing it with if you were going to wear it with like really thick tights or leggings then you might be fine but yeah maybe just something to think about so that is a, just a nice one that's got a subtle little little bit of sparkle for this time of year and then I'm sure a lot of you guys might have seen already the amazing new collection from Atelier Brunette so as always absolutely gorgeous selection of fabrics. I've brought one out onto the table to sort of open up and show you, but I will show you all the colorways close up. There's two different types of fabric. Both of them are viscose, but this one, which has got a print on it called Twig, is on a viscose twill base. So when you look really closely at the texture of the fabric, you sort of see like really faint diagonal lines on it. And that's just classic of the twill weave. It's just a different, slightly different way that the fabric's woven. But it's got such a lovely handle to it. It's really silky and soft. This is the kind of pinky colour way. I can't remember what they've actually called it. Blush, they've called it. Um, and yeah, so it's quite it's quite a nudie colour, but sort of pinky tones to it. And you can see that the drape and movement on it is just absolutely beautiful. It's to totally opaque as well that like you can't see through it. So it makes it such a versatile fabric. You could do almost anything with this fabric from tops to shirts, to tunics, to dresses, to jumpsuits, to lightweight trousers, anything at all that requires something with drape and movement like this is going to be perfect. So this one comes in three colorways so you've got the darker night one and then you've got an ochre sort of uh, mustardy kind of color as well which is beautiful and then the other fabric is the plain viscose crepes so again they're 100 percent viscose but the way that they're woven is just slightly different and it means that they have almost like a really subtle sort of sheen like a very a subtle I don't know like a bubbly texture maybe but they're really nice gorgeous gorgeous floating around and moving as well um, and they are opaque as well so they're super super versatile and um, so yeah just another lovely selection from Atelier Brunelli they always just seem to hit the hit the colours in the right spot all such beautiful colour palettes and um, while we're on viscoses I've got another viscose to show you which is an art gallery one which is really beautiful and um, it's just here and it's on a lovely sort of teal background and then it's got this lunar moon print on it which is really nice and um, so some full moons and crescent moons and you can see it's got a really beautiful drape and movement to it as well it's probably a little bit lighter weight than say the atelier brunette ones like it's a little bit slightly little bit more transparent and um, 
but st I don't, for a top certainly anyway you wouldn't need to line it if you were making a dress and it was a sort of straighter style you might feel like you wanted to line the skirt but if it was a dress with a fuller skirt like a fuller style then I don't think you would need to um, but yeah that's another really really beautiful one as well in the viscose department and then we've had a couple of new stretchy fabrics in which are gorgeous too so this one here th there's just something about this one that i really love and um, i think it's the colors because um, as i'm sure you guys can probably tell i absolutely love anything that's got pink in it um but this one here is a cotton loop back so the reverse of the fabric has got that lovely sort of loop texture so it gives the fabric an extra bit of weight i would say it sort of puts it between a t-shirt weight which is tends to be a bit thinner and like a classic sweatshirting that's got the fleecy back to it is sort of in between there somewhere so it could either make like a bit of a heavier weight top or it can make a lighter weight jumper if that makes sense and um, but it's really really nice and it's got this lovely sort of spotty design on it so yeah good for jumpers or t-shirts i think you can make kids clothes with this as well i think it would make nice leggings for for kids or or anything and um, jersey's really versatile for all sorts of kids clothes and um, so yeah that's another lovely jersey that we've got and then we've also had this one which has been super popular so far and um, it comes in three different colorways and it's called wild thing and it's a bit more unusual because it's basically like a ponte roma weight or a double knit so it's got quite a bit of sort of structure to it and um, but it's then it's almost like a jacquard because the pattern on it is like woven into the fabric and the thing that i i think makes it a bit different is that it's made from cotton because quite often these fabrics are made from polyester which is why we tend to not get so many in because we try to st steer more towards natural fibers as much as we can and um, but yeah this one is cotton i think it's got it's got a bit of elastine in it as well it's 92 cotton and 8% spandex which means it's got a decent amount of stretch as well um, and then it's just a very on trend animal print so we've got this bluey colorway and we've also got a pinky one and a kind of turquoisey one too so because it is a bit sort of heavier in weight because it's got that jacquard weave to it jacquard is just where the the printer design of the fabric is like woven into it it would be really good for um jumpers like the linden or the jara or the toaster would be really good as well you could do the tilling the buttons coco top or dress or the, the tilling the buttons zadie dress as well would be good for that because it's just got that bit of extra body to it while still having a decent amount of stretch and yeah because it's cotton it's not going to be sweaty like polyester which is always a bonus um so yeah that's another nice one in the jersey department and then in terms of like party vibe because let's face it it's almost november and hopefully you guys have got lots of exciting parties to go to i'm gonna have a newborn baby so i doubt i'll be going to any parties but i can live through you guys and the amazing party clothes you'll make and um, so we've had some of our sequin fabric back in again this is always popular at this time of year we've got it in three different colors i've brought one over to show you and i'll show you the others close up this is the rose gold one and what i lo absolutely love about this sequin fabric is that it's got glitter on it as well so it makes it extra extra sparkly so it's like really really tiny thin little subtle sequins and then yeah they've got glitter on them too so it just catches the light amazingly it's on this kind of mesh backing so it does mean that you really have to line anything that you would make with this just to stabilize the fabric a bit and also make it a bit more comfortable against your skin so if you were making just like a simple top with it like the grain line scout tee or you could do the closet case patterns celio top i would just line it with either like a cotton lawn or just a plain viscose fabric just it helps to finish off the neckline on it as well and then yeah it just makes it softer against the skin i have seen some people use it to make um, a linden as well so you could do like the front panel of the linden with the sequins and then get a coordinating or contrasting fabric for everything else but I would say you'd probably still want maybe like a light much lighter weight jersey fabric to line that panel that you did it on just yeah just sort of stabilize the fabric a bit and make it comfier against your skin um but yeah it's a really really lovely fabric that would just make 
any outfit extra special because it's just so sparkly so yeah the rose gold one and then as I said we've got the black and we've got a silver one as well and that one and then the other party fabrics we've got we've got a few more jacquards that are just over here and um, this one is another really lovely sort of animal printy kind of one and it is let me just check it's got a stretch in it i'm pretty sure it's got this one is polyester and then it's got three percent elastine so it's got a bit of stretch in it um but it's nice and lightweight and i think it would be really good for a nice dress or a pair of trousers or a little skirt and then because it's got that bit of give and that bit of stretch and it just makes it extra comfy as well so it's like a black background but then it's got this sort of bronzy kind of textured animal print on it which is really lovely so yeah another one that's a bit more kind of fancy for this time of year and then we've got another jacquard which is very sparkly um, I'm just trying not cause an avalanche with the other fabrics. Um, this one here is a, just like a classic jacquard, so it's a bit more structured. It doesn't have any sort of give or stretch in it because it is just a bit firmer. But it's this lovely sort of corally colour. This has been so popular, this colour this year. And then it's got a little kind of silvery sort of roses in it. So if I open it, you'll get a bit more of an idea of what it's like. So yeah, it, do, it does hold its structure more, so it's going to be good for maybe like a nice dress with quite a sort of structured shape like a kind of tulip skirt shape or a kind of straighter skirt shape because it would really hold that um, or you could make like a nice little lightweight jacket with it or sort of straighter plainer kind of skirt just like a little kind of pencil skirt um, so yeah just another party vibe one and then this one is pretty wow um, this black one that I've got here and it's got this absolutely awesome triangular design on it that is so the base is a straight black stretch velvet and then it's got this sequin print on it but the sequins are actually daisies really cool um, and you can see it makes this sort of triangle shape so it just feels really luxurious and very special and yeah when you look up close you can see the white sequins are this daisy shape and then the, it's got little black ones in between that are just circular ones but it really catches the light and then you've got the lovely sort of smooth sheen of the velvet as well so because it's stretchy um, you could do lots of things with it i think it would make a nice dress or a top you may want to consider lining it though just so it feels maybe a little bit smoother against your skin because the the reverse of the fabric you can see all where the stitching is that's actually holding the sequins on so you might want to just line it with like a, a, a lighter weight jersey just to make it a little bit more comfy but i think it's really striking i think a, like a dress and that would look awesome or even just like a little top or something would be really nice too. Um, and another one for the party scene. And then the last few fabrics that I've got to show you are more kind of Christmassy projects. So we've got an advent calendar panel here. I'll show you the panel first and then I will show you a sample of it made up just so that you can see what it's like. This one's really, really easy to make. You just sort of fold it up and it creates the pockets. So this section here is actually the inside of the pocket and then this strip here is what you see on the front. So you just have to sort of fold it up on itself and you press it into place and stitch it down. So when it's all made up, this is the sample here. It looks really nice. Um, it's yeah it's got all these little pockets and then a kind of merry christmas banner at the top and then i just put some ribbon in the little binding around the edge with a bit of doweling just to hold its shape so that it stays nice and flat when it's getting hung up and um, so yeah that's a really lovely quick and easy project that you can do and um, for the backing i actually used some padded curtain lining because we just had some spare and um, but if you wanted to give it more sort of structure or body you could use wadding and then just a plain backing fabric and then yeah just put some bias binding around the edge to just sort of finish it off so that's a, re it's a really quick and easy advent calendar one and then this one is really cute it's like a little soft christmas book and um, so it, it's a panel as well that comes with all of the pages of this book and um, it's about a bear who stays up at christmas time and um, it's really really sweet so you there's like three kind of sections to it and you just sew you have wadding in the middle and you sew each of the panels back to back and turn it inside out and then i just top stitched around the edge of all the pages to give them a bit more 
structure I guess but it tells you to it tells you what like how to do it, it comes with instructions as well and it tells you what all the page numbers are so then um, you just like match up each page with the corresponding page um, and so yeah it's pretty quick and easy as well and if you wanted to you could like embellish it with some embroidery or free machine embroidery or you could hand embroider some of the pages as well I didn't just because I wanted to keep it simple but you could do that as well I also it doesn't tell you to put that ribbon in I added that little bit in on the cover just to tie it closed and um, but that's easy enough to do you just do that when you're sewing it all together and um, so yeah they're a few nice little Christmas projects that you might want to think about doing and then the last few things I've got to show you are new patterns and um, again you might have seen these already but the new paper cuts collection we've got quite a few of patterns from that they're really really nice and um, my favorite one is that the axis dress I think that one's lovely and um, but yeah we've got the array top the nexus blouse the twist pants sequence blouse and dress and then the stacker jacket too so I'll, I'll link to all of them in the blog post as well I'm starting to see some really nice versions of them popping up online so yeah they are all in stock and then we've had a few new Liesl and Co patterns as well which are just some nice kind of classic ones and um, that are good to know that they're there and um, the extra sharp pencil skirt is just quite a classic sort of straight um, skirt quite a simple skirt which is just good to have and then we've got the rush hour dress and blouse so it's got the blouse has got a little sort of nice peplum on it and then the dress is just quite a classic sort of straight princess seamed bodice then into a kind of straighter skirt as well and then we've got the neighborhood sweatshirt and hoodie and um, I've seen quite a few people make the hoodie version of that there's not that many hoodie patterns that have a zip and everything out there so so yeah this is a good option if you've been looking for a hoodie pattern and then it does come with a sweatshirt option too so i think that's everything that i was going to share with you today i'll put a link to the blog post that goes with this video in the description of it so that'll link to all of the fabrics that i've mentioned and um, but remember to keep an eye on that just arrived section to be like the most up to date with all the new fabric arrivals and those mind the maker fabrics that are coming in any day and they might even be available by the time this video gets um, published um, if anybody's got any questions or anything at all then you can always call or email the shop i'll put the inquiries email address into the description of the video as well and um, the girls that work in the shop are always more than happy to help with any questions or sort of suggestions you need or recommendations at all so um, don't hesitate to get in touch if you need any help or advice and um, but thanks so much for watching guys and um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already just remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video and i'll see you next time thanks bye